We already saw in previous videos how in our travel agency application, we could add a variable trips to our grid and how to load it for each line from the load event. If instead of implementing this on a manually created web panel as we did, we wanted to use the work with for web pattern, how do we do that? To add the variable, we right click on the attributes add variable node. We define it through the properties window where we'll be asked to name the variable and its domain. Also, we'll see that a property named load code is displayed. That's where we specify what value the variable will be loaded with for each line of the grid. We'll enter the count formula, passing it the trip date attribute, just as we did from the web panel generated by us, since we're interested in counting the number of trips entered for each of the attractions. If we save what we've done in the instance file of the pattern and open the web object WW attraction panel created automatically, we'll see that in the load event of the grid, the pattern placed the code that we indicated to load the variable. Let's see how it works. Now we want to add a text link button outside of the grid, which allows us to invoke the attractions report procedure that we had created to print all the attractions as a PDF. We add an action at the level of the selection node that implements the work with itself. And by means of the properties, we indicate the caption that it'll have, as well as if we want it to be an image instead of text. If we want it to be outside the grid, or on the contrary, a button inside the grid for each line and most importantly, what object to invoke as a consequence of choosing the action. We see it running. By opening the web panel generated by the pattern, we can see how the action has been included in the action bar.